swine flu men seems to be spreading at an alarming rate across the country. 132 deaths, 708 cases of swine flu have been reported across India so far, triggering fear and panic. Maximum number of swine flu cases have been reported in Rajasthan. Next on that list is Haryana, where 78 cases and 32 deaths have been reported. 90 cases and 16 swine flu deaths have also been reported in Punjab. 16 deaths do have been reported in the state of Gujarat. In Delhi, 57 cases, 4 deaths that have been reported. Well, Delhi, in fact, has seen a sudden spurt in these cases so far. Let's get in more from our correspondents. We've got Dev Ankur Vadavan now joining us on the story from Jaipur. Dev, like we're saying, like we're mentioning the statistics here, it's an alarming rate, especially when the state of Rajasthan is concerned. Just give us a sense of what the state government is doing about the situation that's staring them in the face right now. Well, clearly, Nida, it's after 2010 that once again swine flu has hit back with, with a vengeance in Rajasthan. There are several districts including Jodhpur, Jaisalmer, Barmer and the capital Jaipur itself which has been extremely badly affected. If you were to talk about Jodhpur, uh, more than 60 deaths have been reported. All across Rajasthan, more than 130 deaths have been reported so far. And also, as I mentioned, in the Jaisalmer, Barmer uh, belt, several deaths have also been reported from there. As far as the government action, the administrative mm. action is concerned, uh, the government seems to have woken up uh, extremely late to the entire scenario. Uh, the Tamiflu medicines are being distributed on a war scale at uh, the government hospitals where there has been a steady stream of people complaining of uh, flu of, of symptoms of swine flu mm -hmm. for the past one week or so but it's also important to mention that this time round uh, the people who are in the know they have told me that the H1N1 virus is not as potent as it was in okay. 2010 and that is why perhaps mm -hmm. uh, the family members have not been as not as badly been affected this time round as it was in pre uh, previously. They've just stayed on with us. Let's also get in a quick word from the national capital, from where my colleague Vijay Kao is now joining us on Wake Up India. Vijay, from what we've seen of the government attitude so far on this situation, they're not willing to accept how massive the scale is actually becoming, how big the problem is becoming. Just give us a sense of how Delhi is grappling with this crisis right now. Well, Nida, as we all know, 154 cases have been reported of H1N1 patients from Delhi itself, out of which 33 new cases were reported on Tuesday. And even there was a report of one 15-year-old girl who also lost her life due to acute uh, swine flu because of uh, multiple organ failure. Now, the Delhi Health Department has got tracking. The Delhi Health Minister, Dr. A.K. Walia, held a meeting yesterday in view mm. of the increased uh, number of swine flu cases. And he has uh, directed his department and taken stock of the... The, uh, recent increase in the number of swine flu cases in Delhi right. and he's asked his department to monitor the, the mm -hmm. situation very very closely. Now what Dr. A.K. Walia has also said that the, uh, the swine flu cases are expected to come down in the near future with the increase in temperature and mm -hmm. reduction in humidity. What uh, Dr. Walia, the Delhi Health Minister, also claims is that they are fully prepared uh, with medicines to treat right, swine flu yeah. patients. Mm -hmm. And they are saying that they are also monitoring the, uh, the hospitals that are providing treatment for the same. 